So I succeeded to make a really nice connection here in the top part. But what about the lower part? We didn't check that. So let's go in and have a look at that. And look at that zebra pattern. It's broken. And the zebra pattern tells us that this is not curvature continuity uh, at all. Uh, we could also use the curvature plot to get the same kind of information. So if you pick the other side and turn on uh, more curvature graphs here by add objects we could see that yeah there is an angle here between these two here so they are not connected and they have to be connected to be curvature continuous so we need to fix this so let's uh, see what we could do so what we could do is we could do the same thing as in the top here to use that symmetry uh, fix but I would like to show another method that works <coughs> equally good. So let, just, uh, let us just clean up a little bit. So I turn off curves, turn off section curves, and now we should have only the main surface active there. So let's make that the active layer as well. So on the edge here, we could just make a straight curve sticking out. So I go for duplicate edge. And if I just click in the right spot here, duplicate edge, and then I go for this one. Right click and accept, and now we got a curve there. And we got the gimbal, and I will use the gimbal trick here with the balloon to just drag that out, and automatically we get a, a straight surface there. So, what we could do now is to use this as a help surface. So, we will we will hide it or delete it later on. But if we ask for continuity here, and we don't need curvature, only tangent continuity over this border, then we should be all right. So let's go for match surface, I key in match surface, and read the prompt line, and it says choose an untrimmed edge. So I go for the part that I would like to change, and that is the correct one. The arrows is pointing to the main side. I click on the edge again, and secure that we choose the other side and now it automatically have made this tangent and we don't need to have curvature if I click curvature you could see how it becomes much more flat here and there is no reason for for that we will have in the special case of symmetry plane we will have it for free so let's accept that and we could, we could actually throw away that piece and now instead of using symmetry, we could just mirror this part here. So I go for mirror, choose this one, right click and say go for that point to that point. And now if I look at, the, at this with the zebra pattern, let's see what it looks like. So let's go for analyze, surface, zebra, pick the whole thing, right click. And look at that. It's perfect. Let's also do the same thing with the graph. So everybody uh, remember to, to use these two tools. They are super great. And the third tool is actually to look at CVs or control points. Analyze and curve, curvature graph, and just pick all these isoparms. And now look at that. Now it's matching. So that means curvature continuity and this is not bad, even if it looks like this. It just means uh, we don't have G3, we have G2, which is very, very good. It's curvature continuous. So, I'm happy with that. Let's uh, concentrate now on, on the top surface there. I do a, a middle click and right click on the shady there to turn it off. Go for a side view. I would like to see the images. So. Let's see if we could make a curve here on the top here that could follow the silhouette. So zoom in a little bit and ask for a curve. And now we have already changed it to degree 5, which I think it's a good idea because it's internally uh, smooth, all, always smooth. Okay, I will start at that point and I believe it's curving quite rapidly here, already here, so I will put out some. And this will be approximate. We will be, we will be, it will be necessary here to, to move these uh, control points later on. But we have 
an approximate starter and right click to accept that. So remember, important card, turn on the, the CVs and you could also have them always visible. Show control points, they, they will be visible. And now we could just have a look at this. First of all, it doesn't follow the, the uh, silhouette here. So let's shift click these two and, and move these out here. We need more points here. So we could choose to rebuild this. So why not do that? So I choose the curve and choose rebuild. And we will, <clears throat> we could see that we have seven points with a five degree. So let's go, let's go for eight points. So we add one more there. And we have two spans. Okay. Let's turn on the graph, <clears throat> which helps us a lot to, to see what's going on. So I go for Analyze, Curve, and Coverage Graph. And we scale this up a little bit. And here we can see that there is some bad stuff going on. Uh, <clears throat> and here it's curving a lot. That, that, that's why we have such long curves there. But let's attend to this thing happening here. So... It's all depending on all these control points here. So let me move this further down here. And the silhouette is there. The image is not super good either. So we could settle maybe with something. Oh, this, I don't like this behavior to have the CV on the other side there. So we just would like to have a nice flow here and maybe these two again needs to be moved a little bit rotated and moved closer there we have the image so something like that look at the graph pretty smooth here it's a little change there but i will accept that we need to move on but the angle between the hull here is quite decent so We'll settle for for this for the moment. So I turn off the graph there. So now we have the top curve ready uh, for making a surface. Now we need to decide how far down the surface should go. So if you look at the side view here, I strongly recommend to take the top surface above the bump here or the recess or below. And that depends on where you would like it to be attaching and, and it's a little bit wider the main surface down here so if you look from a, a back view here so i think i think i will choose to, to attach it further down instead of up here okay but um, i believe both approaches will will work nicely so i go for the side view and then i i would like to split this surface here and i will prefer to do it along uh, the mathematics that we have here and when I'm talking about the mathematics it's always uh, the flow and uh, the control points I'm talking about so if I choose this and turn on the control points on that surface we could see that it's flowing in a little curve here so maybe we could cut along that flow there and there is a tool for that. So I need to copy that isoparm there. So I click on the surface and say there approximately. Let's split this main surface now along this isoparm. And jump to perspective. And here we have the isoparm that we will use for cutting. And I go for split. And I select the object to split, which is the main surface. Right click, and then I would like it to shrink. So when I split it, the control points will not extend outside the actual boundary. So we go for shrink, yes. And then I go for the cutting object. And then we go for right click to accept this and look at the control points now 
We also had a history there that is broken, but that's okay. So now we could see that we have a lower part and a higher part. So what we need now is a profile here and let's go for a side view and try to decide what kind of direction we should go for. In this top part here, I would prefer to have a little help surface. I will drag this out with the circle there. So we have a little surface. And if I shade this, the right click, then I could have a curve on surface that is projected on here and down here. And then we could match a curve in between. So let's go for a side view and make a curve here. Again, we need to make a guess here. So maybe from there and yeah, why not? Let's go for that and a right click and then we have a straight line. This straight line here, I will extend it so it reaches a little bit down on the main surface. So in perspective view now we have uh, a linear curve here, a one degree curve, and I would like to project this on these two surfaces. So let's choose project. And I would like to project that curve, right click, and then I would like to go for these surfaces. But first I go for the correct direction. So I go for the side view here and choose these two surfaces so I just click on the lower part as well and right click and now we should have curve on surfaces and we have one there and we have one piece there and the one we had here we actually don't need that anymore so we could say delete to that and now we would like to make an S-shaped profile here control points this is only two dots here so this is just a single degree so you could use rebuild to ask for more and five will be okay but we don't we don't need two spans so if we have one more than the degree six points it will become a single span okay yeah so if you look at this now we have six control points a degree five curve and now we could ask this one to be smooth down here and smooth up here as well and we could choose match so if I go for match and click on that edge there or that curve there and the other curve I could have this tangent remember for the symmetry plane we only need tangent and that means that we need one two control points to be involved in this so i choose okay and that point jumped up to that spot instead so they are now lining up and that's it we don't need more so tangent will with magic it will become curvature when this is mirrored on the other side because then we will have one two three and three control points give curvature continuous. Okay, right click again. So we get match on this side as well. So I click on the curve on this side and there. And then I ask, in this case, I would like to have curvature. So we will use one, two, three control points to have a good continuity down here. So let's have a look at these now when I choose okay. So actually it was that, that and that. So these three down here are now involved in this. And uh, if you use history, it's even better. So let's do it one more time with record history on. So record history and then I go for uh, match that one to that one and curvature OK. So now we have recorded the history, we could actually 
tweak the position here and let's go for a, a back view so we have the image there and now we have an awful lot of um, control points here so maybe we should also turn off that one uh, and we go for a right click and now it's a little bit easier to work with only that one which I would like to see the control point so if we now have history it means that we actually could work a little bit with this CV so if I move this CV and release it it will jump to a position where we could still have coverage continuous so it repairs whatever crazy craziness I do it repairs that but it makes it possible to very easily uh, adjust these here and still maintain curvature and that is because I had recorded that continuity there match and we have one CV here uh, that are free that we could do whatever we like with and we could maybe move it a little bit further up maybe this one here in the top we could bring it in uh, in this direction here so and again uh, remember the alignment here so I would like to relocate this we could try first with align to object and that didn't help so in this case we actually would like to align to world coordinates because I would like to go in y direction so if I do that I will keep the alignment there tangent and I did that I brought that in a little bit because I will bring up this one that will use its power to move out the surface here again so uh, I'm just looking at the angle of the hull here so try to not have too funny uh, zigzagging here so in this case it will be an S shape but we only want one inflection point there so this is pretty okay and of course you could shift click these and, and move them out if, if you like to have a little, more, a little bit more flatness here so but that is pretty close we could see the silhouette in the background which is further out but this one is attaching a little bit uh, with an offset here so we need to think about an offset all the way up until the top there so maybe this is okay it's an important curve though remember important curve turn on the graph so let's bring down the scale here and the scale here gives a graph that I find quite okay it goes on the other side here and then it comes up here it's almost flat here so a little bit depending on what you're aiming for you could uh, work with this so here it's changing quite quickly maybe we should move this out a little bit to have a little bit more calm we could shift click these and move them out a little bit calmer behavior here so look at the graph and try to see if it looks nice and smooth and it does so let's settle with that for the moment and this could be tweaked later on so now we have a good start for making the top surface here so let's give it a go and we could ask for a network surface and maybe we should make a layer for that one so let's make a brand new layer here and call it top surf and I will bring it down and make it active and what we need now is the edges and the surfaces surrounding this and also the profile curve here in the middle so let's try network surface and I go for that edge I go for that profile in the middle and I go for the other edge I go for the long main edge here and be sure that you choose the right edge here and that's the edge I would like to choose so we could have have it following that edge and here I carefully choose not the curve but the extrusion okay so let's right click and we go to surface and for C we would actually like to have curvature so let's see if we could change that one for D and B I'm not I'm not sure that we need to force it to be 
uh, super smooth here. So let's release B uh, to loose. So it makes it easier to have a good looking surface. And I'm not sure that we need to be uh, having the same angle there. And same go for D. So loose on this edge here. And for A, I would like to have, remember, we don't need curvature, just tangent. And we have that. So let's say OK to this now. And we could instantly see that we have a super heavy surface here. We could also see the piece of, of the main surfing sticking out here. So in this part here, we could, we could actually hide that. So maybe we could put it into a, a special layer. So let's quickly make a layer here that's called main top and right click and choose change object layer and hide it so these are the pieces now and we have a super heavy uh, surface here and if you turn on the control points you almost get scared it's so many uh, we could uh, we could still examine it and see what we got so actually this works most of the time for for quick designs uh, even though it's super heavy but let's try to go a little bit further first we will just check what it, what kind of quality we have got here so to check quality we could go for the curvature graph uh, and we could go for the zebra stripes as well so let's go for analyze with the zebra and I just pick everything here and say okay to that and now we can see that it seems quite nice it flows over there and even though there is tons and tons and tons of uh, magnets here it's quite smooth so actually this this could work uh, but we could also try to mathematically get it to uh, lower values we, we actually don't need this massive amount to have this smoothness here but this works uh, we could continue from from here on with this and be quite happy but let's try to make it a little bit more lightweight so i will take this surface here and rebuild it and reduce uh, the amount of mathematics with rebuild and with rebuild we could see that we have 67 uh, isoparms in one direction and 50 in the other and they are three degree so I will bump it up to five degree and then I will go for lower values here and you could just change here and look what kind of preview we have here so here we could see that in V direction we now got some isoparms here and if we go down here further down if I go all the way down to six it means that this is just making one big jump here and probably it's not enough flexibility here to actually uh, be continuous in both sides here. So I, I make a guess here that we need a little bit more uh, points in V direction. So I add in a little bit more here until I see some more isoparms, the black lines here. And the question is what kind of value we need to have here to follow uh, as good as possible because for, first of all we could see already here that it's it's not following uh, the boundary really exact maybe it's it's not important maybe the images are just loose sketches but maybe we could come a little bit closer here so if you continue to add isoparms here we could see that the preview changes and look at that so with 11 in that direction we're quite close and that means that we have six spans in one direction and five in the other. And we could zoom out a little bit and uh, maybe see what we could do for this one. If we could go down a little bit. And maybe we don't need that amount of flexibility to follow the, the profile here in the S shape here. Yeah, let's try this. So this is something that you might need to redo a little bit, but we test it. Okay, so look at that. So much easier uh, with the number of, of CVs. And we could turn on the visibility, and here you have them. 
and it looks pretty decent and when I, what I say with decent is it's quite few so you could actually work with them individually and manually just pick one here and drag and slide and do whatever you like and we could also see that the flow here is quite all right so if you have very sharp uh, changes you might need more series but I think this is quite balanced the question is is it still continuous down here yeah let's have a look with the zebra stripes and see what they say so I go for the zebras and choose all the surfaces and when we zoom in we can see that we have a break uh, no surprise here we, we have thrown away a lot of information here on this surface here but let's see if we have enough of magnets to match it back so if I choose match surface and click enter then we have a possibility to choose an untrimmed surface I go for that edge and the arrow is pointing upwards so that's the one we would like to change and then I click again and then I choose the other side the arrow points down and that will be the master that it needs to follow look at that Ooh, that is really nice and it seems to be all right all the way through here and we have tangent okay so let's see what happens now if we bring this up to curvature so uh, I go one step further and now it's really looking good here so we say okay to that and, and we're happy about that of course uh, the edge here might not follow the images anymore because I took away uh, a lot of CVs but I think we're good enough close enough to to the images and the sketches that we have okay so now we have a really really nice top surface there let's make it complete so I will in this case uh, we will also need to check the top here if we have continuity and I could already see here now just looking at these control points that this is not good at all so uh, if you look from uh, a back view we could actually see that these are not lining up here so to do that we could do this, this in several different ways one, one is to match, this, match it to this flat surface here another is to to make a symmetry of, of this one and that will also fix it so we, we have several possibilities to solve this so but let's go for this flat surface now and if you look in the perspective view it might not match that well because this is rebuilt so let's make a new one out of, out of this edge that we already have so i choose this edge that we have there and the curve there I will throw that away so we are actually using the actual edge there and we need to duplicate this edge to be able to make a surface so I go for uh, duplicate edge choose that edge right click and then I will take the circle and drag it out and then we have a flat little surface here which could be the master to force these CVs down so we go for match surface choose the one that we would like to change and the arrows is in the right direction there and then we choose the edge again and choose the master and this will be the master look at the control points now <laughs> they disappeared uh, so in this case it's asking for curvature but remember for the symmetry plane we only need tangency so let's see what happens with the surface now when I go to tangent so you can see that now it's it's not that flat anymore so curvature makes it more flat in the top so if that is not something that you want go just for tangent it will give you curvature continuously anyway okay and this flat piece here I don't need that anymore and we could possibly turn off those control points as well so with the right click we got rid of those so let's uh, take these two pieces here and uh, mirror them so we could take that piece and that piece and mirror 
and then I go for that point and then I go for that point and then we have mirrored this one quickly so let's see what it looks like now uh, and we have two tools to check for continuity here maybe we could turn off some analyze curve curvature graph on and then we could choose some objects so we could go for these top surfaces here and right click and then we'll have a huge amount of uh, graphs there and we can see that they are attached so that's actually okay even though it looks a little bit interesting but we don't have any gap here so this is coverage uh, continuous and we could also do the same with the zebra pattern to be absolutely sure that this is all right so we go for zebra and just take all the surfaces accept this and now when we zoom in we could see that the zebra pattern is following accurately and also down here no problem at all so we have made a quite good top surface there attached to the main surface and we could also go for surface environment map which could be quite useful also for analyzing and here you have a possibility to look in like in real life feeling here of what it lo would look like so looks good